A TV show helps to broadcast the life of Christ to a billion people. The second season of The Chosen is now being released, and the actor portraying Jesus is a devout Catholic. EWTN News, Night, News Nightly correspondent Mark Iron tells us why The Chosen looks a little different. Rise. Christ has been depicted in many big-budget films, but this production is fueled by donations. Put that down for a catch. The Chosen, a series on the life of Jesus and his followers, has been described as the highest crowdfunded media project in history. Now in season two, the show is reaching a growing global audience. Uh, we've told people we need $100 million to do the next five seasons to reach a billion people. Creator and director Dallas Jenkins says the show came out of his biggest career failure, in 2017, he released a major Hollywood motion picture, but when it bombed at the box office, he turned to faith. A moment with God that ultimately changed my life, which is to, you know, re-get that point of surrender where you go, you know, I don't really care what it is that I do in my future as long as it's in your will. Jenkins, an evangelical Christian, says that led him to make a short film for his church on the birth of Christ, and that production ultimately inspired The Chosen. Peter and Kathy Hill from Springfield, Virginia, first gave the show a try in 2019, and were hooked. So one episode. Then we, we watched another one. Yes, we were blown away. Then we watched another one. They even had the chance to be extras during the show's filming of The Sermon on the Mount. The actor who portrays Jesus, Jonathan Rumi, is a devout Catholic. He spoke on EWTN's Life on the Rock about his preparation. I go to Mass when we're on location. I try to find a church near our hotel. And I, I specifically try to make sure that I can, you know, get confession and, and get the, and receive the Eucharist mm -hmm. so that I'm filled up with as much of the Spirit as I can. And Rumi's prayer life is inspiring others. During Lent, he would lead the Divine Mercy Chaplet for an online audience. The Hills attend an evangelical church but would join in. Make us our compassion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Kathy says watching The Chosen helps her better understand the humanity of Christ and his love. It it's, gets me emotional because he's really there. He cares about everything, every single detail of your life. He just cares about. During show production, Jenkins consults with a Messianic Jewish rabbi, evangelical scholar, and a Catholic priest for guidance. His hope is to share Christ with a worldwide audience. I believe that if you can see Jesus through the eyes of those who actually met him, when he was here in person, you can be changed and impacted in the same way they were, and that's that's the goal of the show. You can watch it for free through the Chosen mobile app. These viewers are spreading the word. You got somebody who uh, doesn't really know the gospel. This is the kind of person you invite. You come in and say, "Who hey, watch this, because it's impactful. Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.